What's up, guys? Sorry for the poor quality, but uh, I just wanted to explain real quickly that a magnet isn't just a magnet, all right? So back in the day, we had this lovely man named Charles Proteus Steinmetz. He uh, perfected Tesla's uh, AC motor. And without him, I mean, and there's other people as well, but without him, we probably wouldn't have our uh, modern day electrical grid. So here he's showing us the electric, electric field. All right, so these are your AC power lines, these black lines, or these black dots, sorry. And then you have these black circles. These are your magnetic field. The dotted lines are your dielectric field. And before you tell me, oh, dielectricity doesn't exist. Um, yes, it does. He says here that the um, an electrostatic, or more properly called, dielectric field. Okay, so he's saying that Static electricity is more properly called dielectricity. Okay. Um, but yeah, so these are this is your electric field, the the uh, magnetic and the dielectric meeting at ninety degrees. That makes electrification. Okay. Now electrons, because if we go to the next page, sorry. He says, unfortunately, to a large extent, in dealing with the dielectric fields, the prehistoric concepts of the electrostatic charge, i.e. the electron um, on the conductor still exist, and by itself, um, by, right, on the conductor still exist, and by its use destroys the analogy between the two components of the electric field, the magnetic and the dielectric and makes the consideration of the dielectric field unnecessarily complicated, which is why we don't understand electricity today. I mean, people say it's fairly understood, but there's a lot we don't understand, and it's because of this. Okay. And if you are only familiar with dielectricity, or, sorry, uh, with dielectric mediums, like for capacitors, um, this is gonna sound crazy, -y, but Dielectricity is stress, strain, tension, or torsion, and the word that a lot of people hate, the ether. But the ether is really just an energy field, okay? Every, everything is energy. All right, but that's for later videos, later talks. So, he, so sorry about that. So here we have a bar magnet all right, iron filings. Again, you see the black dots. Maybe you see where we're going with this, but the black dots, and you see the lines going across again. So this is the dielectric. So a, ba a bar magnet lies to you. It shows you the dielectric field, not the magnetic field. And then we will go to an electromagnet. Again, you can see these are your, your wires. You have your magnetic field going around Okay, so the electromagnet shows you the magnetic field because it dumps the dielectric component into counter space, dumps it into the ether. And then you have your dielectric field. Okay, magnetism is the dielectric field. That's what Michael Faraday said. Okay, so magnetism is the attribute of dielectricity. Electricity is magnetism and electric or magnetism and dielectricity meeting at 90 degrees. So, then I'll show you a couple of more photos. Here we have the ferrocell. This is one pole of the magnet. This is actually a magnet, okay? This is one pole of the magnet. This is another pole of the magnet. In the middle here, you have the inertial plane, which would be a line here. So you can see my cursor right there in the middle. Or on this page, if you're going right down the bar magnet, you can you can see you can see it here actually. Okay. And then we'll go to this one last time. And you can see again this line here that goes across. That is our inertial plane. So go back here, you can see it in this. Okay. 
this is another image I can't remember exactly from what but again it's showing magnetism okay well really this is what we call poles they're not poles at all okay but um, yeah so this this is dielectricity this is dielectricity this line right here, these lines in here dielectricity okay and then you would have circles let me go this way you'd have circles coming out this way excuse me I said that wrong ignore that last part but anyways um, so yeah um, and then to go back to you know the I'll get back to the the electron doesn't exist and you know I'll show you this um, I'll show you this in another way you have to be able to see it okay but so we go ahead here zoom out all right so here we just have styrofoam all right and there's some anyway styrofoam all right here we have a magnet just with a with some saran wrap and tape on it so I can easily get the styrofoam off I'm gonna get a pull real quick. All right. So we have our pull, and you'll just see all of this styrofoam start flying. 